cool product I wanted to share with you guys today. So I'm no fitness guru, right? But I like to work out. This is the Sorenex Sandmine. It's basically a play on landmine, right? It's pretty cool. It's made with DuPont Kevlar, the authentic Kevlar. It's got six handles on it. It's approximately 16 inches in diameter, three inches uh, thick when it's flat like this. You know, you can't really measure that thickness as the contents, in this case, play sand, is moving around. It's got a bladder inside, YKK zipper here, so it's easy to fill. And kind of what they were thinking about was coming up with a system like this that you could have multiples of these if you have a sled, a backpack, uh, one or two in each hand, you can stack these things. And because of their shape, the material has some friction to it, that, that Kevlar, it's kind of sticky. So if you stack those, they're gonna kind of stick together. I enjoy it because I can whip it in the back of the truck, I can take it to the range, I can take it on the road with me, of course when I'm driving, not flying, because who the hell wants to pay to lug 40 pounds of sand across the country? But you can do a lot of different stuff with this. It's just simple body weight exercises. If you want to hug this thing and do basic squats, you can do that. If you want to do some overhand presses with it, you can do that. Anything that you can think of. I like to do fun things uh, working out. I'm not the kind of guy that just hangs out in the gym and goes through a routine. I do a lot of stuff that I feel is going to benefit me and my body in the real world. So some of the things that I might do with this uh, sand mine is this. I will throw this up on my back like this. Now, I don't want anybody to worry and tell me I'm doing something that's unsafe or that's gonna hurt me. I've managed to live 40 years plus and not injure myself working out. So you gotta know your own body. So I'll throw this sucker on my back and I'll do some simple push-ups like this. In this case, on the slack line, you're having to use some muscles to stop yourself from shaking because that's what this line wants to do. So you really got a good burn. And the cool thing is, I slammed the hell out of this bag many a time. It's not gonna break. We've got a nine foot ceiling down here. So some of the things that we'll do with this out of doors, good two hand grab, squat, come up and just throw. See that? Now I would try to toss this thing much higher if I was out of doors. You can use the handles if you want or work on that grip strength, just grab the bag, throw. Pretty cool, right? Now you could also grab and rotate. I'm trying to over-exaggerate that throw. And of course you wanna be stretched, warm, and all that good stuff. But with a very simple Kevlar bag here, you can do a lot of cool exercises. I really enjoy the flexibility and the durability. I had my doubts because I've slammed the hell out of it. And that's not a slam ball. It's not made to beat up, but I've abused it seeing if we could break it. Now I'm gonna throw my guts into it. Here we go. and some fine shape. So one of the movements I like to do because I've got the slack line set up here at the gym is I can work on moving and grooving on the ground, maybe shrimping, jujitsu, wrestling term, and I'm gonna use the slack line as an obstacle that I'm gonna throw the uh, sand line over as I traverse down the length of the slack line. Nothing complicated, it's just like being a kid, rolling around on the ground and moving some weight. This is basically one of the exercises that I do with it. Check it out. I'm gonna try to not break our microphone set up here. So I want the bag to go that way. So I'm gonna grab the bag and I'm gonna move it. Now I've got multiple ways I can just kind of scurry along. I've done this before while I grab the, the slack line and I physically pull myself, move it. And I move it. So on and so forth, or 
I can do something, move my whole body to the far side of the line and move it. And now I can shrimp myself over, move it. And I can shrimp myself over and move it. And I can, my clothes are sticking to the floor. Rah! You get the point. Push yourself to do some very rudimentary movements with a bag of sand, right? One hand snatches, overhand snatches, and the same thing. You can either hold on to it or let it go. I'm not here telling you how to work out. I just want to show you an item that has a lot of versatility. Hell, for that matter, all my years in carpentry, shoulder it and go for a walk. Again, don't tell me I'm gonna hurt myself. Think about what you can do to better your body's physical condition because that is really what's gonna help you survive violence, danger, fight off disease, and old age. Think about what you're doing. Don't injure yourself. If you need to, start out slow. Seek a medical uh, professional to make sure that you are okay to do physical activity. And for God's sakes, use common sense. Sorenex, the sand mine. April 27, 2018, another episode here of the Carry Trainer Higher Line podcast. I've got my buddy Scott Puckett of Sorenex Tactical Application Group, otherwise known as TAG. Also a sheriff's deputy and former Blackwater operator, correct? Ooh, I don't know if I call it operator. I was a I was a taxi cab driver. Taxi cab driver. I uh, I just I drove around in, in armored vehicles and then unarmored vehicles and taxied people around and got paid very well for it and was part of a good organization. So I was a taxi cab driver, tactical taxi cab driver. There you go taxi cab driver very uh very humble